Hi, um, today I'm going to show you the pattern we've been using to make snowmen. So we've made um, a couple of different ones. Sometimes we use the glitter white and um, sometimes we use the regular white. So when I do the pattern today, I'm going to use the regular white just because I ran out of the glitter white. So first one with glitter white and he has a winter hat and scarf and I used um, eight millimeter black beads, plain black beads for the eyes. Um, here's another one, glitter white with the 8 millimeter eyes. We used this little um, novelty button hat and made him a scarf. Um, here's one with no hat, same big 8 millimeter eyes and a scarf. And this one has the smaller eyes, 6 millimeter eyes. Um, and it's just plain black bead. Like I said, we made him a winter hat and a scarf. So just to compare the glitter white and the white and then the different size eyes, you can see. Okay, so for this one, um, I'm actually going to use pink and red for the hat. I'm going to show you to make the hat because if you don't want to use the winter hat, you just um, use all white at the top, um, so that's easy. So I'll show you how to make the hat and the, and the way I do the scarf. Um, and like I said, I'm going to use pink and red and plain um, white. So the pattern is for a triple single bracelet. We're going to double the rubber bands that are on each row. So you can see there are two. Need that closer. Okay, two rubber bands on each. And you're going to start with your arrow at the bottom towards you facing away. And then uh, here is the pattern. So you're going to do three of your hat color. I did two pink and one red, then seven white, and then I did a red and a pink um, for my scarf. I'm going to keep it the same colors as the hat. Um, the other side is the same as the first side, and then the center. Um, again, three of my hat color, I did two pinks and a red, three white, one orange for the nose, one white, one black for the mouth, one more white, and then two of your scarf color. I um, reversed it, did pink and red. Um, so my scarf is, you know, going to be checked, I guess is what I was thinking. Um, so then once you have the bands on like this, uh, you're going to put the upside down triangles on. Um, you start still with your arrow at the bottom, start at the top. And you just want to do them like this. And you use whatever color is um, you're mostly color covering. Um, so you're going to do this all the way down until you get to the bottom. And then, sorry, my arm's in the way. At the very bottom, you're going to do the second to last row there. And then that is going to be your last one. You leave these bottom three pegs open. So um, that's the pattern. If you, you're probably going to have to know how to make a triple single to do this bracelet. Um, it's just like all the other ones that I do. Um, okay, so then when you're ready to hook, um, you turn your loom around and your arrow's at the top facing down towards you. And then you're just going to go up each row like this. There you go. And... Just go all the way up like that to the top. Keep going, just do one row at a time. Then when you get it all hooked at the top, you're going to take the bands from each side. Remember, it's gonna be hooked. You're gonna put it over the middle, and then you're gonna make an extension, just like you would extend any other bracelet that you make with a single loom. So um, I know I went fast and I skipped that a lot of these steps, but again, to follow this, you really need to know how to make a triple single. So, um, just by magic, I have mine all hooked and my extension on, and now I'm going to take it off of my loom. There we go. All right, and that's what it looks like when it comes off. So um, now I'm going to show you how I put the eyes on and then finish the hat and the scarf. So. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my beads, and I happen to like the smaller eyes. Um, my kids and most of their friends like the bigger eyes, but I like the smaller ones, and this one's for me. So I did a six millimeter eye. I put the rubber band through. Um, I used the same method that I used to thread the googly eyes. I used um, a thin piece of wire that I got by stripping the paper off of a twist tie, and I used that to make a tether to pull the band through. So then... Um, I'm going to go to the second row of white 
And I'm going to go from back to front through the middle of the outside column like that. I'm going to grab one part, half of my rubber band bead and hold on to the other side. I'm going to pull it, whoops. I'm going to pull it through to the back, this. And then I'm going to keep it on my hook. Then I'm going to take my hook and on the seam row across, I'm going to go through the center. Let's see if you can see that. Through the center to the other side. And I'm going to hook the other half of the rubber band that's through the bead through there and pull it carefully through to the back so I have it like this. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross one rubber band over the other like that, pull it, then I'm going to put it on my finger, go back around to the front. And don't worry if your eye moves around while you're doing this, you'll be able to fix it later. I'm going to stick my hook from front back through to the back, grab this band, pull it back through the front like this, and then you're going to button it over the bead like that to keep it in place. There you go. And then it'll stay in place like that. Just kind of move the bead around to where you want it. All right, so I'm going to do the other eye. Um, be the same way um, and then like I said you can use any colors you want for the hat and scarf just be creative um, you may want to do it striped or all one color whatever you want I don't remember what Frosty the Snowman what color his scarf was but I'm sure the magical internet can tell you you can make them look like Frosty and the hat um, buttons that I got. I also use them on the turkey that I made and the bridegroom. Um, I just found them online. I was um, on eBay looking at different novelty buttons that people were selling and I thought they were cute and they've actually come in very handy. Um, so that's where I got them. Okay, so now I have both my eyes on. There she is. It's gonna be my girl snowman. Now we're going to finish the scarf's easy to finish. You're just going to take, since mine's two colors, I'm going to take one rubber band of each color, a pink and a red. I'm going to stick it through the bottom um, rubber band on one side. There. There we go. Um, so I stuck it through the outside, then I'm just going to pull both rubber bands through like that, and then cross them. I'm going to make a slip knot if I don't lose them. There we go. All right, make a slip knot like that. Then you're just going to cut them. But of course, I didn't bring my scissors over. So I'm just going to rip them then. There we go. And that's my frayed ends of my scarf right there. Okay. So now um, I'm going to do a little pom-pom on the top of the hat. I'm going to do mine in red. So I just take like, I guess, three bands, however you want to do it. And I'm just going to go through the rubber bands at the point of the hat there. So I'm going to go through. And then I'm just going to pull a rubber band through and make a slip knot like that. So it hangs like that. Then you're just going to do that a couple more times at the top. Um, you can go through the same one. You can go through different ones, loop them around each other. Just because rubber bands sometimes can be a little crazy. Um, you may have to just experiment with how it's going to work on, on your hat. So there's two. And I'm going to tie it around the outside the third one and there's three all right so here's what it looks like and then you're just going to take these three or whatever however many things you use rubber bands you use for your pom-pom and you're going to snip them and there's your pom-pom and there's your snowman so hope you like the snowman and um it's getting cold here where i am so enjoy winter thanks